Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu 24.10 on VMA workstation. First we will download the Ubuntu 24.10 then we will install it on VMware. Go to Ubuntu official website that is ubuntu.com. Click on get Ubuntu. See here we have the two major versions desktop and server. If you want to install desktop, you have to select this one. If you want to install server, you have to select this one. So select desktop and click on download Ubuntu desktop. See here we have the Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS and if you scroll down, see here we have the Ubuntu 24.10. It is the latest version of Ubuntu operating system for desktop PCs and laptops. Ubuntu 24.10 comes with 9 months of security and maintenance updates until 20 until July 2025. So click on download and system requirements and its size is 5.3 gigabytes and system requirements are 2 gigahertz dual core processor or better 4 GB system memory 25 GB of free hard drive space. Okay, click on download. See your download should start automatically. If it doesn't you have to click on download now. See download has been started. Go to downloads full download history. See so size is 5.3. I'm cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. See here, I have already downloaded Ubuntu 24.10 desktop. Okay. Now open where I can. Now open VMA workstation. If you want to install VMA workstation on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Search for VMware. See, I have two versions. VMware Workstation Pro, it is paid button and VMware Workstation 17 player. Okay. And VMA Workstation 17 player is the free to use for non-commercial purpose. I have kept both the links to download and install. Okay. But the installation process is same for same on both Workstation Pro and VMA Workstation player. Okay, click on any one of them. See, these are the virtual machines available on my VMA Workstation. If you want to create new virtual machine, you have to select create a new virtual machine. Or file, then select new virtual machine both are same select create a new virtual machine then click on next then select the downloaded disk image file that is iso click on browse then go to downloads select the downloaded iso click on open then click on next here provide any name Then click on next. Provide the name. I am giving UP two four one zero VM. Then select the location where you have the NS space to store this virtual machine files and folders. New folder. Then give the name for the folder. Hit enter. Click on OK. See. The virtual machine files and folders will be stored in this location. Click on next. Then provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Then click on next. See this is the summary of the virtual machine. Still if you want to edit, you have to click on customize hardware. Then here we can edit. I am okay with all these settings. Then click on close. Also see here the option power on this virtual machine after creation. It is up to you. So I don't want click on finish. See this is the Ubuntu 24.10 VM. Still if you want to edit settings click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select settings. Uh, both options are same. Click on VM and settings. All three options are same. If you are okay with all these settings and click on power on this virtual machine. And if you want to install permanently, click on install Ubuntu 24.04 or double click on install Ubuntu 24.10. Double click on it. Select language and click on next. Next. Select keyboard layout type and click on next. Next. See here we have the two types of installations, interactive and automated. So I am going with interactive. Then click on next. I want to install the more 
software so select the extended selection and click on next want to install both additional media formats and graphics click on next see this is the fresh, fresh installation so select erase disk and install ubuntu click on next provide username and this will be the computer name or host name so we can change this now later also this will be the username then provide the password and if you want use active directory credentials you have to select this one i don't have any active directory so click on next select your time zone i'm okay with the current one click on next see this is the summary of the choices that i have chosen for the ubuntu still if you want to modify these settings click on back 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 and you have to come forward so i am okay with all these settings then click on install see installation has been started i am pausing this video and whenever manual inputs suppose if any manual inputs are required i will resume and i will show you but it is not required i will resume whenever it asks us to restart the open See, installation has been completed. Click on restart now. Click on username and provide the password. Let us maximize by clicking on this enter full screen mode button. Click on next. I don't want share system data, so select no. then finish we can show applications see here we have the terminal you are unable to find click on search for terminal click on it then we have the version of ubuntu more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed ubuntu 24.10 want to if have the ip of this machine give if config is not install so install it by running apt install install net hyphen tools hit enter if config c this is the ip of this machine we can also get ip by using ip addr hit enter c this is the ip of the machine okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install ubuntu 24.10 on VMware Workstation. For more Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.